there was something I was thinking about today regarding King David and the birth of Jesus. You know, in my book, I have a story of the nativity story in my book, but something just really struck me today when I was uh, thinking about King David and the very fact that he was a king, he was the anointed of God, chosen of God while he was a musician and a shepherd of the sheep. So I was thinking today, one of the signs at the birth of Messiah, Jesus, Yeshua, is the fact that the heavenly hosts of angels came to the shepherds first. This was a sign not just to come just to the lowly first, but he's the greatest of kings. They were told that the king, the son of David, who had been a shepherd of the sheep, had just been born. And they were astonished and they went to see the thing that came about. So the angels weren't just announcing that to the lowly shepherds for nothing. It was an indication that this Messiah was the son of David, a king. And everything that had been prophesied about the king of kings was coming to pass. For unto you is born this day in the city of David. There once again, giving indication that the king descended from King David, the Davidic dynasty had been restored. So just think about that. David was the shepherd boy and he was God's anointed king. King Yeshua was his descendant, is the good shepherd of the sheep. Side when he wrote Psalm 23. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. The rod and staff of the good shepherd. So in other words, 
the heavenly hosts of angels appearing to the shepherds first was letting you know that a king from the Davidic dynasty had been born. And the conversation that Jesus had with Pilate let it be known that he was born king. For this reason he was born, it says. And not only that, but you just have to read in my book what I said uh, I laid it all out. It's kind of a big story, but um, I believe that he was born on Rosh Hashanah, Feast of Trumpets, because that is the coronation day of God as king. And he would have appeared to the shepherds first, telling them that their king was born once again. So all of these things together give you a great picture that everything in the Bible, every word has some deeper meaning. And this is why he didn't just go to King Herod and announce it with the heavenly host of angels or somebody, you know, a high ranking uh, priest or something like that. He truly went to the people that David had been one of and he had watched his flocks and he was a type and shadow of the Messiah to come in his Davidic line. So I just wanted to share these things because you know, I had never really thought about the king connection with the birth, with the shepherds abiding in the fields, and that it was symbolic of King David as a good shepherd of his sheep. It's really incredible because there's a lot of detail, and within the detail, there's more details, and it gets deeper and deeper, and that's what I found when I was working on my book and the Holy Spirit was poured out on it and one thing would unveil another thing and it would just continue on like that kind of like peeling back rose petals Shalom for now hope this blessed you